my first watercolor animal was a cheetah just lying down. It was a small painting, 12 by 12 inches. I was surprised because within a week I sold it. They told me, can you do another one? <laughs> so I discovered so I can make money through my artwork. My name is Daniel Joroge. I'm an artist. I do acrylic on canvas. I do artwork. I paint both acrylics on canvas, watercolors on paper. My work is, uh, let's say, rounded. Wildlife, culture, and landscaping. Me, I use the local manufactured canvas which is uh, a beige in color. They produce them in many colors, yeah? We might paint for some, for quite a long time then. If things are too quiet, you start feeling now your mind is wandering and you're thinking of many things. I like in the background, just put some music. When I was young, I was notorious with walls and charcoal. I would just pick charcoal and you see a wall somewhere which is white like this. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I'll paint. I would draw on that thing. Maybe on the walls. Then my mother would come. Who, 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 who did this? Obviously, they knew who did that. It's Jaroge. <laughs> a British friend of my father observed one day and he told him, no, don't beat the young man. Just show him where he should draw or where he should not draw. You see, teachers used to tell us, oh, the president Kenyatta is coming to Embu. So all the primary schools in, around there, you know what you do? You just go to town because you want to welcome the president. But one thing which used to push me and to encourage me as an artist was you go there, you observe, and when you come back to school, take a biro and draw what you saw. In the year 84, 1984, I resigned. Salama. <laughs> and I became a freelance artist. It was not easy to start, but that time, remember, there were very few local artists. In fact, if I remember, I could count them. So my first watercolor animal was a cheetah, just lying down. It was a small painting, 12 by 12 inches. When you paint an animal, you're conserving that animal because it is a fleeting moment. Sometimes I paint an elephant and sometimes when I go to the national parks I see, oh, that is the elephant I did. Because I realize the wrinkles and other things. Eh? Because we don't sometimes just paint for the sake of it. You paint to conserve and to capture a fleeting moment of a world, a world life beauty that will last on a wall for many years. Sometimes you want to paint maybe a thorn tree and you want it to be specific and special. You just walk out of the house with a camera. Maybe my inspiration is that I want to do a painting with a thorn tree with uh, some birds which are building their nests. For example, we got those thorn trees with a zoom lens, with that sunlight. Huh? You just zoom the tree you want and the branches and just click. Interacting with now artists who used to make money out of their work, I realized, oh, it's an investment. 
And out of that money, you can do other things now, just to make your life easier. But the beauty with art, unless you get sick or die, there's no retirement. <laughs> it's a lifetime job. So actually it can be an investment if you're disciplined and if you train yourself to be among the best. It is not necessarily that you make money out of your original work. There's a way of printing it, limited edition, which now comes to be a bit cheaper. As I've painted in my life, I've realized that most people who have bought my work are people who are, have made it. Architects, people who are lawyers, and they loved art. If you have aggressive way of calling in artists to bring that work, electronic way, uh, public, you know, you know, in our times, all what you could do is just go to a printer, do some posters and put them all over Nairobi. That's the, the only communication <laughs> because there was no these uh, the gadgets we have today. You know, sometimes you look at your work you've done, you know, when you finish and you've signed it, you put it on the wall and you look at it and you go, wow, how did I get that effect? My name is Daniel Njoroge. I am putting Kenya on canvas. <laughs>